Welcome back, trainers. So as you can see, I have a shiny Sableye. That is my first one, and it was my 400 in first. So <laughs> quite some time. I was hunting those very hard when they first came out, but to no avail, and now I found one. Unfortunate part, but honestly, I don't really care much, is that it's a level one, all right? Am I going to power this up? I don't think so, guys. That's way too much Stardust, and I might as well just go with one of the, you know, higher CP ones that I have to just power up or use for PvP. Anyways, uh, looking good in that regard, so I'm pretty happy about that. There's the nice back view of that little shiny thing there. So, out of all of these shinies, I found this one last night grinding. Excellent. I freaked out a little bit. I was like, are you, yes, you gotta be kidding me. I was grinding with Elegantly, and I was like, I'm calling it. We're gonna find a shiny, one of us. And, well, I found mine. Now let's go ahead and take a look at my recent Pokemon here. I also hatched a Mantike, and unfortunately, it did not show the hatch animation. I was just looking through my Pokemon, and then all of a sudden, I had it in there. So, uh, whoever sent this to me, much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. So, that's looking great there. Definitely not evolving that. There's absolutely no point in doing so. Holding on to the baby Pokemon, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I had a thought. This was what I was thinking. Since we're seeing a pattern with these uh, tournaments for the Silth Road, they're going by the badges, right? And the different gym leader types. I'm thinking, what if they have one day a baby cup, right? With all baby Pokemon. So I'm kind of holding on to some, considering it, because, yeah, that'd be a good idea for the future to have these. I don't want to stockpile too much, then my Pokemon are just going to get cluttered. Also, another trade with uh, Elegantly, uh, Lucky Shumish. Funny enough, <laughs> this thing has more HP than Breloom itself. So take a look, watch. 111, right? I'm going to evolve this right now so I can get the Grass Knot. So let's go ahead and do so. Let's see what we get. And yeah, I'm pretty excited for the Boulder Cup tournament, guys. So let me know if you've been to yours and how it went. Because it should be pretty fun. So let's see. I had 111 HP. <laughs> now let's see what it has. All right, let's go and... Oh, it stayed the same. Okay, interesting. Um, so it is past the Great League, which that's what I was predicting. It does have the Grass Knot. And I'm going to go ahead and just power this up for the Ultra League now. Because mine just barely passed it, my other one, unfortunately. And since this is so cheap, I might as well just go for it. All right, and... Is Breloom good to use in the Boulder Cup tournament, folks? Well, absolutely. It has massive attack, see? And the only downfall is it's going to be Grass and Fighting type, which both of those are going to be weak to flying. So when it does enter a battle with the Skarmory, so say you go, you put in your Breloom first, and then they have a Wish Cast, you're like, yes, perfect matchup. Say you have Bullet Seed. And did you, do you want to go with Grass Knot or Seed Bomb? Um, personally, this is just my suggestion for this tournament, maybe Seed Bomb, if you had one of those already ready. It's just going to charge a little bit quicker, and you're going to need that bit of edge as far as charging your moves using Breloom because it's so frail. You're going to fall so quickly. So, say you're going up against the Wish Cast, you're doing some massive damage, right? Then they switch into a Skarmory because more than likely every single person is going to have one. All right, basically, because you, you need it. That is going to be the MVP of this whole situation, as well as, I don't know about a Melmetal. See, those are good, and the only thing it's really going to be useful for is going up against the Skarmory itself with Thunderbolt and Thundershock. All right, anything else, it's going to be able to do some damage, but Wishcast, Marsh Stomp, Steelix, uh, Quagsire, anything ground, those electric moves aren't doing diddly squat, you're going to be stuck out there with this uh, huge investment that is just going to be getting wrecked. And the only sole purpose you had it for was to take down the Skarmory. So in that regard, it's going to be great. But otherwise, uh, I don't know, guys. I'm still contemplating whether or not I should use it or not. I'm probably, uh, who knows? Who knows? But Breloom is good. You just have to look out for that Skarmory because it will tear you apart in a matter of seconds. And I don't mean like five, six, I'm talking about three, two. <laughs> and uh, you're going to just go down because 
people are going to be running with uh, flying type quick moves and of course sky attack. So the Breloom is great. It's going to be doing a lot of damage to those ground and water types um, in that regard. But otherwise, it's just so frail. And if you did have, say, counter and dynamic punch, going up against Steelixes will help you quite a bit. You're going to be doing a lot of damage. This is high attack Pokemon right here. Um, so yeah, if you had to go with one of those uh, charge moves, Grass Knot or Bullet Seed, I recommend Bullet Seed for the tournament. Anything else, raids or maybe any other PvP battles, M mostly raids, you're going to want Grass Knot, period. You don't, don't want Bullet Seed, um, or should I say Seed Bomb, sorry. Uh, technically, you may want Counter as well, going up against raids. It's like, you do get Stab and Super Effective, Let's say you're going up against Groudon or Kyogre, um, but I feel like with Counter, you're just doing more damage. Bullet Seed's going to charge your moves quicker, so keep, keep in mind. And it is somewhat significant. And going into these PvP matches, you're going to need to get to your charge move before your opponent. That is key. That is key. Wearing down their shields and just ripping into their health with as many charge moves as you possibly can is what you want. Alright, so that's why I'm recommending uh, Seed Bomb. Okay. And we're just going to keep going. Um, not even look. Let's look at the Stardust now. Okay, it's... Ow, it's okay. It's okay. I needed one of these for the uh, Ultra League anyway. And uh, if I do decide to max it out even further, it's going to be one of the best grass offensive Pokemon currently, but with just super frailness. And uh, we're going to go below 6 million if I hit it again. Holy cow. Yep, we're stopping right about there, folks. <laughs> All right, so... I was able to make uh, a trade and get a Heracross to get into the uh, Great League here. Much appreciated for that trade, my friend. And he named it after me, so we'll just go ahead and change that now. And Heracross is another decent Pokemon. I mean, you got to look out for flying, for sure, because yet again, with the whole Breloom situation, you're going to be this time Bug and then Fighting. So you're going to be extra weak to those flying-type Pokemon, specifically Skarmory. Now, you could go in there with a Gliscor or a Gligar doing those air slashes, charging fairly quick with Fury Cutter, and that could benefit you. The only thing you need to look out for is going to be water moves and ice. So you're going to have that ice on Metacham, right? And then you're going to have the water moves on Marsh Stomp, possibly uh, Wishcash and Quagsire and, I don't know, maybe a couple others, but those are the main ones you have to really look out for. And taking super effective quick move damage from, I don't know, uh, Surf and then as well as Water Gun onto your Gliscar or Gliscor is going to be devastating. Your health is going to go down very, very quick. And you'll be able to do neutral damage and, with Aerial Ace, but it's still going to probably not be enough. Although you'll be able to cover those fighting types for sure. All right, and then if you have Earthquake on it, you'll be able to cover those Steel, like Steelix and Melmetal types. Melmetal will probably be doing very little damage to that Gliscar or Gliscor, depending on which one you want to use. Either or is good. Um, I suggest you use a Sinnoh Stone and get it up higher if you possibly can, though. And if you didn't see my other video, uh, I did get myself one of these and I evolved it. So here we are. All right, so here's another investment that I did yesterday. I already had it maxed out completely. I just put 75 rare candies into it and then 75,000 Stardust for the secondary move to get Shadow Ball because this does perform great. So I have something for the Master League, I suppose. I was kind of wanting to hold out until I hatched another one so I can get it into the Ultra League, a more ideal uh, league for people to be playing. But I just made the investment because let me show you, even after putting the rare candies in, look at where I'm at now. Uh, 704 so I'm looking so good and I kind of needed to get rid of them and yes I've already been saying I'm gonna hold off on a lot of these rare candies for uh, Gibble you know Garchomp whenever that comes out and another reason why I am saving the rare candies is for when other Pokemon do come out that don't currently have an evolution so we can get the candies that we need and stack up I'll just be completely ready I'll be able to put those in immediately and show you the performance in PvP and possibly going up against raids and another reason why I'm not doing so many 
raid videos currently is because, well, PvP is another level. It's requiring you to power up Pokemon to a specific spot, and you need to stay there. Uh, at this point now, I've invested about... It's going to sound nuts, okay? 8 million, 8 million Stardust. I buy secondary moves. I, I'm not showing you guys everything because then all my secrets will be revealed. And you'll know all the moves that I have, right? So that's another reason why I'm holding on to these rare candies, getting ready for the future. You all know, already know that as I've been discussing that in past videos. And I do have another EX Raid Pass. I have one tomorrow and then one for the next cycle because I did receive one. So looking great there. I'll be able to do two more Deoxys solos and possibly some unique challenges. Um, but yeah, back on to why I'm not doing the raids. It's because, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I need to get out there and start finding them. I've been kind of busy with that current situation that I've been talking about that I'm dealing with. So we'll see how that goes, and I'll try to get out there. But today's going to be quite a busy day. Expect a video later today with the tournament, okay? It's going to be awesome, right? So I just want to say thank you for watching, trainers. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. Just a quick little talk, just discussing what I... Uh, caught yesterday and uh, a few suggestions if you have yet gone to your boulder cup tournament nothing too in depth just a little bit about the breloom thank you for watching trainers and i will be catching you all next time take care